guys, uh, looks like I actually made my Sangit video. Normally I say I'm gonna make videos again, and then, uh, I don't, but, uh, we're off to a good start. So this might be a tiny bit of a, t a touchy subject. I'm gonna be making this video, since it is May, and that is Skin Cancer Awareness Month, I'm gonna be making this about melanoma. I was affected by melanoma, uh, I think there may have been some, uh, some melanoma in my family as well. But I'll go over a quick synopsis of what it is, all that type of stuff, and uh, you can think of this as a follow-up video of uh, my melanoma story video that I made back in 2012 when I was high on Vicodin that they had me prescribed on uh, after the surgery. <laughs> hey guys, just a disclaimer, I'm on Vicodin right now, so if you, uh, if I'm like, so pretty much if I'm drowsy and just being weird, then that's why. But uh, pretty much think of this as like a follow-up to that video. It's getting close to now being two years ago, actually. But uh, I went to the dermatologist because there was a spot on my back that looked almost like a, a freckle. It was like a freckle, but a large freckle. And so I went in to the dermatologist that we got recommended to, and he uh, took a biopsy of it, which is like he scrapes off the very top of it. And pretty much we uh, got a call later, I think that week, uh, and pretty much told us to come into his office. He wasn't specific at all. Uh, so we showed up, and I mean, even even though it ended up only being stage 1 melanoma, it was still a really scary thing. Any type of cancer at any stage, even ones that are like 99% curable at that, at that certain stage, are still really scary. With me having stage 1 melanoma, like, you, you think, oh yeah, like, 90% of people will live that are affected by it, but still. Just the thought of having uh, any kind of cancer, which may mean you're more likely to have uh, a worse stage later on, is also kind of scary. I guess now I'm going to show you uh, kind of what it did to my back for just stage one. Like, it's it's crazy how much uh, how much procedure, like surgical procedure, was required to remove the area that uh, was affected. Yeah, so as you can see, I have a huge scar now. Um, pretty much, that is where they had to take out um, the melanoma affected area. And yeah, so just remember, guys, that is stage one. Hold on, that they have to take out. So basically, skin cancer is the most uh, common kind of cancer that uh, people have. The strange thing is, though, melanoma is the the most deadly. It, it accounts for a small portion of the skin cancers, but it's a huge uh, mortality rate in all of them. Skin cancer happens due to various causes. I mean, some of it's genetic, some of it's uh, from the sun, some of it's all different types of stuff, but the key is prevention. So using things like sunscreen, sunglasses, because yeah, actually it can uh, affect your eyes. You can get melanoma in your eye. Just limiting how much time you're out in, like, in direct sunlight, just stuff like that can help uh, prevent uh, skin cancer. And then also uh, stuff like eating healthy. I mean, this stuff can also help to help your body sort of keep everything right. I don't have any statistics right now, but I'm pretty sure I've seen stuff where um, the later stages of melanoma, I think they use chemo as more of like a comfort, almost, not a comfort, but they use it to like keep you along, uh, keep you alive longer. It doesn't really do much actual like uh, long term keeping you alive. Yeah, so uh, I thought I would also give you guys uh, a place to possibly donate. Um, a link below, but it's melanoma.org. I actually donated uh, not too long ago. It is a pretty good website and trustworthy. I looked it up on uh, Charity Navigator, and it is very reliable. So uh, if you're thinking of leaving any donations to uh, sort of help uh, research better ways to treat melanoma and all that. Uh, perfect website to go to. Also, if you're into Reddit, uh, I uh, was able to get this uh, subreddit because it was pretty, uh, it was inactive at the time when I checked it. I got uh, r slash melanoma, so you can go on there and discuss different things. I, I would rather, if you not post pictures and questions of saying like, should I get this checked? If you think it is worthy of getting checked, if you think it's out of the ordinary, you should get it checked. It is not, you do not want to leave it up to people on the internet to tell you what is melanoma and what is not. Leave that up to a trusted and licensed physician 
them or a dermatologist who can actually give you some medical advice, or some sound medical advice. Pretty much melanoma is just is just a vicious cancer of the skin. It's in the melanin. Yeah, so if you found this uh, insightful, if you want to try to help save some other people possibly, <laughs> feel free to share this video, like it, comment, subscribe, whatever. I'm glad you all check this out. Peace. See you guys later.